Hey y'all, so listen, we back with some more videos, mysterious videos from around the internet. And these are the type of videos that may make you wanna go make sure the doors are locked, the windows are locked, and the alarm is on. Make sure you double and triple check that the doors are locked, all right? Let's check them out. On the night of March 5th of 2024, a young girl is wide awake at a time when she should be asleep. Despite being past her bedtime, this doesn't stop her from playing with her toys. Throughout the night, she remains awake while keeping herself engaged in imaginary play. But little does she know, something unexpected would interrupt playtime. According to the child's mother, the family has been on edge ever since watching the footage recorded on their daughter's security camera. It's around 11 at night when this is captured. <laughs> Anybody else noticing the orbs just flying out throughout the room? I, I hope I ain't the only one seeing that. It's no wonder that the mother has kept her daughter away from this room, from a toy lighting up on its own. And I was just about to say the same thing. I know y'all was already saying the same thing. There's no way on God's green earth I'm letting my kid go back in that room. Back in that room, we out that night and we may not come back here, period. Especially once I see the footage, there's no way. No way, bro. And I was sitting there saying, like, in my mind, thinking in my mind, like, bro, don't go under that bed. Don't go under that bed. Don't go under that bed, little Caroline. <laughs> Ever since the Pol Poltergeist movie, every time I see a little kid or something doing something, I'll be like, don't go there. And if it's a little girl, I'll be like, don't go in there, Caroline. But, bro, I was like, whoo, whoo. My nerves. Strangely, playing the same song the child hums, to seeing her getting dragged under the bed in a seamless motion, the family is extremely concerned for the safety of their children. They believe that something had lured her using a toy. Although it isn't certain if the mother had asked what her daughter had seen, she's made sure to lock the room after seeing this. But only a few days later, she does this. So I've been getting a lot of questions. Um, people have been asking me, 
Have you been in the room? Have you guys looked under the bed? No, we haven't. We haven't been in the room in the last two days. We've been a little scared. back it up why are you even listening to the internet just because they asked did you go up under there you ain't gotta go up under there you ain't gotta appease the people on the internet what is wrong with y'all ain't no way i'm going under there and she all up under there in the dark too of checking under the bed wasn't already scary enough, she captures this, a creepy looking doll hidden below the mattress. She continues to record when suddenly the doll begins to move. Now it's a bit hard to see at first, but after looking again, its head can be seen shifting ever so slightly. It's as if it knows it's being seen. Immensely terrified, the mother bolts out of the room in a panic frenzy. Naturally, she's kept the room locked ever since then. While it isn't known if anything else had occurred outside of the room, the mother continues to post updates giving her thoughts on the whole situation. But currently, the question on the parents' mind remains unanswered. Just what exactly had dragged their child under the bed? They got a little Chucky in their house. They got a little Chucky in their house. That thing moved. <laughs> the way that thing moved. <laughs> I done put so many holes in that thing, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. In the following video, two friends who work at a hotel are playing with an elevator that's going down to the floor below. Okay. Okay, go, go, go. Both friends are racing against the elevator, running to the second floor before it gets there first. But while heading over, something happens inside this elevator that neither friend could explain. This is what was caught. appearance of this girl is startling on its own, it's what happens earlier that's by far the most baffling. Immediately after arriving to the second floor, its door, for some reason, begins to open and close while staying on the same floor. But even stranger is that a faint voice is heard inside the elevator. Mm -hmm. It kind of sounds like it's saying mm-hmm or something along those lines. Now neither friend could explain this, but surprisingly, this incident is just one of many. It would be at this exact hotel where the two friends work at that another peculiar incident had occurred. Take a look. We're getting. Before we get to the next thing, I've often thought about like putting my phone 
in a room, dark room at night, one of the rooms in your house that may feel like something's a little weird about that room. And then just putting a phone in there and letting it record. But at the same time, is it just me or is this, I just don't want to know. I don't want to know. So I don't do it. Simple. I just don't want to know. Crazy calls from this room that is unoccupied in the second floor. And this is like the third time it's happened. And uh, I'm bringing y'all along with me. So um, um, okay. No one's calling, no one's here, everything's chilling. Yep, okay. Good. No one here, no phone calls. I'm out. This is weird. The room itself is already creepy enough, but the fact that someone, as he mentions, has been calling from this room makes it even more unsettling. While the employee doesn't state if he had seen anyone or anything inside, he goes on to say that something very strange was caught in this room just a few days ago. This incident was actually captured by his coworker who was setting up new furniture in this room. Mind you that during this time, the second floor wasn't occupied, meaning that all the rooms on this floor were devoid of any guests. It was just both employees working inside this room when this was caught. I found a guy on the stairs. I don't know, but I mean, I, oh, I felt bad, but also, no, don't feel bad. It's just terrible. <laughs> Didn't you open it? I'm gonna clean it real quick. Yeah. I don't know what I mean. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So, my sister, she graduates in two days, and I asked for the whole weekend off yeah. because, because, like, we're having... Here? In yes. this corner? The right corner. Okay. Or in that corner. I don't know. I mean, like, I know it's super dark right now, but I feel like, personally, it would look better in this area. There's just too much backlight. There's, like, not enough good... I don't know. That's true. But, I mean, you can see if someone's trying to, like, break into your room. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. Weirdo. <laughs> in the mirror, a distinct outline of a pitch-black silhouette can be seen in the corner of the room. It appears to stand there while seemingly observing the girls do their job. For only a brief moment do we see the tall figure in the mirror. But as the camera pans to the corner where the figure was spotted, it's no longer there. Like before, the girls were freaked out beyond belief. They have no idea as to who or even what had been in the room. But they'd rather not know, let alone go back inside, as the whole encounter has left them pretty spooked. Whether it's the elevator acting up or the constant phone calls made from this room, they can't shake the feeling that something very strange is going on with the second floor of the hotel. As of now, there haven't been any updates, but until then, let me know your thoughts on this one. A hotel just seems creepy, doesn't it? Like, I wouldn't stay there at all. Or if I showed up there and this is what it looked like, I'm leaving. I don't know if it's the carpet, the walls, it just gives off like a whole creepy vibe. I don't know. Just something don't feel right about it. Even inside that room. that Inside that room just looks like if I lay here, I better sleep with one eye open. Or I can wake up with something like a knife to my throat. Like it, it, it just, or somebody being in my room standing in the corner staring at me. Or that looks like one of those rooms that has like a trap door or something in the room that you don't know about or cameras in the room and you don't know about them. Now this next video comes from a man who while being alone at home spots something out of the corner of his eye. 
It happened while being in his living room, scrolling on his phone. For some reason, he couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching him. Paranoia was getting the best of him, as he thought, so he tried his best not to think much of it. But just when he started to ease up, he sees it. A figure standing at his window. He immediately takes out his phone to record it, on the off chance that no one would believe him. Now we don't see the figure on camera, but something else happens that terrifies him to his core. This is what he caught. Okay, look, I'm really tripping out now. Something was looking at me through the window, and I heard... I'm freaking the fuck out. comes off as just a video of someone being paranoid is in fact footage of something completely different. This is made obvious by the sudden movement of kitchen items, but even before that, the man's overwhelming sense of unease makes it clear that something strange is going on. Whatever it might be that's happening, the man hopes to get more of it on camera, and even if he doesn't, then at least he can rest assured that this was captured. At around 3 in the morning, a truck driver is heading northbound on the I-57 when suddenly he begins to panic. Something had just appeared in his field of vision, and whatever it was, it made him feel terribly disturbed. The person driving is known as Ken McGill, and throughout all his road trips and delivering goods, nothing as unsettling as this has ever occurred. Not sure what he saw, he pulls to the side of the road and reviews the footage captured by his dash cam. Looking at the video, he was glad to have pulled over far away from what he'd seen. This is what he caught. Go meet up with him and see if she can get him to confess. And it's a tough decision, I'm sure, but Amy ultimately agrees. She wears the white of Chuck. Out of nowhere, a person dressed in white appears close by. They almost seem to come out of nowhere before leaving out of sight. It happens quickly, but not so fast that it's overlooked. Ken is no doubt thankful that he caught this, but he's also completely terrified. And for good reason. Only a day later after posting this video, an accident had occurred at this exact spot. Reports indicate that those involved in the accident saw a lady dressed in white in the middle of the road, causing them to swerve their car to avoid hitting her. However, when interstate police looked at security footage that caught the event, they only saw the car swerving and crashing, but not the lady they claimed to have seen. It appears that they swerved for no apparent reason. While those in the accident swear that they saw a woman, Ken believes that something supernatural had appeared. Whether ghost or not, this whole incident continues to baffle him. I totally believe stuff like that is possible. Think about it, man. We often talk about uh, seeing ghosts or paranormal figures or different things like that in environments to where something very, very, very bad happened to someone. Like horrifically bad happened to someone. And we say their soul is, at, is, is not at rest. So we're still seeing them. Think about how many things tragically happen on the highway. Like horrifically happening thing, things happening on a highway. Imagine how many souls are not at rest from those incidences. Yeah, I 1000% think we could see more things like this. <laughs> 
on a Wednesday night, a family shoots a video to record a special occasion. It's someone's birthday, and they just got surprised. The person whose birthday is being celebrated is known as Danny, and although expecting a surprise party from his wife and kid, he was not expecting the following incident. What was caught during this moment has left the family immensely terrified. This is Danny's video. My birthday was the other day, and my wife surprised me with some sorbet, and my son blows out my candles. <laughs> After relighting the candles, I looked at the footage and saw something. Now it happens real fast, but in case you missed it, here it is again. <laughs> It's hard to see at first, but if you slow the footage and watch closely, you'll notice what looks to be a figure standing behind the family. Only there for just a split second does it appear on camera, leaving Danny unsure as to what was captured. Thinking that his eyes were deceiving him or that it was just his own shadow, he takes a second look. But after seeing this multiple times and sharing this clip with others, he's come to realize that something was in fact behind him. So Not only behind him, behind his son. So that would make me... Like, I would be scared for my kids. They would be sleeping right beside me. I would be doing everything to protect my kids. That way, whatever that was, isn't trying to take or possess them. Then, just who or what was at his party? Now, just like the previous video, this one involves a family celebrating someone's birthday. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Like any birthday celebration, a candlelit cake is placed before the honored guest. But there's something about this video that sets it apart from any other festive moment caught on camera. While friends and family sing happy birthday, this happens. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. Just like viewers, Ben, the birthday boy, is caught off guard upon seeing smoke rise from his cake. It wasn't until looking down that he realized his candles had been blown out. He didn't blow them, and neither did anyone else, according to the party. Yet if no one blew out the cake, then what did? This video becomes even stranger when looking at the footage taken from a different perspective. From this angle, we have a closer look at the candles, but it's the way in which they're supposedly blown that makes this incident baffling. They appear to go out as though someone or something had been right in front of the cake, yet the only person who's closest to it is Ben, who clearly doesn't do anything. It isn't certain as to what exactly happened that day, but if viewers had a guess, they would assume something unexplainable had taken place. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos 444, In this next video, a child is getting ready to go to school when something very strange happens. It was on a Monday at around 7 a.m. that this happened. He was packing his lunch for school at a time when no one else was awake. It was just him alone downstairs in the kitchen. This is where the mother claims to have heard her son screaming out of his lungs in the most gut-wrenching manner. The video captures this, but there's also something else that's caught that no one in the family could explain. This is their footage. A voice with perfect clarity is heard on camera. The mother's son claims that it came from the kitchen, yet no one had been downstairs during this time. The whole space was empty apart from her son being there, but as it seems, he wasn't alone. Now this whole incident gets even creepier when listening to the story provided by the mother. According to- Before she say anything, let me tell you why I think this is real, right? <laughs> Number one, do she look like she play? And he just running through the house cussing? Oh, she looks like she's gonna... Yeah, she would have had him hemmed up somewhere. <laughs> like him pressed up against the wall, feet off the ground, about to choke him out. He did that. He dropped the food on the floor. Ran out of there, screaming upstairs to his mama. 
Like so many different things I, that you're just not going to do in your mama's house. I know I wouldn't do. You ain't dropping some food on the floor and spilling it all over her floor like that and thinking you're not going to get in trouble. This is triggering for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially how I grew up. That's triggering. So this makes me think this is very real. To her, this is what happened after her son came bolting into the bedroom upstairs. He said that he heard a voice coming from the cabinets um, that said to him, how did you find me? Um, when he dropped his noodles, he ran upstairs, came busting in my room, jumping all over my bed, hiding in the corner, screaming and hollering, saying he didn't want to die. Somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house, telling me to get mine because somebody was in the house, somebody was in the house. And I'm like, and he finally did get a little bit quiet. We started hearing footsteps. I mean, big, heavy feet coming up the steps. So like now at this point, I'm terrified. I, I throw my robe on, I push him into the room with his brothers. As she states, the sound of footsteps going up the staircase was heard just moments after her son came running into the room. Everyone else had been inside the room, so she had no clue as to who was on the staircase. But after watching this video, she now knows. Either someone was actually there, or, as many believe, something beyond comprehension had paid them a visit. Whatever the case might be, her son's guttural scream will stand out as the most horrifying part about this incident, according to the mother. And he dropped his noodles? Yeah, all of that whole video is real to me, bro. Hey, I, I'm not dropping my, my noodles. Uh -uh, not for nobody or nothing unless it's real serious. In this last video, a couple of nurses are working the night shift at a hospital in Dallas, Texas, when things get very strange. This video was taken on a certain floor of this hospital, where many patients claim to have seen unexplainable things. On this particular night, two nurses are cleaning up a medical station when this is captured. Did you hear her? Yes. You hear her? Mm -hmm. I was sitting so like we were working up. We were working up. It's very faint, but if you raise the volume, you'll hear what sounds like a little girl humming or even giggling. You hear her? It's easy to miss the first time, but upon hearing it, you won't miss it again. You'll notice this after watching the following video in which another nurse at the same hospital captures this. Hello. That was you. No, I swear to God. Was that something? <laughs> Once again, the same humming sound is heard. Keep in mind that no one was occupying these rooms during this time, ruling out the possibility of this having been a patient, or at least a physical one, because apparently, nurses believe that the humming sound is being made by the spirit of a little girl who was once a patient at this hospital but passed away. Whether or not that's the case remains uncertain, but regardless, this video is still a mystery as no one at the hospital knows who's making these humming noises. Like most videos, there has yet to be a definitive explanation for what happened.